Hello families, welcome back with a new video. So today we are going to be looking at lesson 5-5, which is subtracting using compensation. So when subtracting two digit numbers, you can add the same amount to both numbers in the problem, or you can subtract the same amount from both numbers in the problem to make subtraction easier. So we're going to take a look at just how to do that. So our first problem we have here is 43 minus 18. So with this problem, you can use compensation to make the numbers easier to subtract. So if we look at 18, we can see that it's easier to subtract 20 than it is 18. So here's one way to look at it. So what we're going to do is we're going to change both of our add-ins by adding or subtracting the same amount. Then we're going to subtract using mental math. So again, we just established that it's going to be easier for us to subtract um, 8 or 20 than it is going to be 18. So in order to make this number a 10, we know that we need to add 2 to it. So with compensation, whatever you do to one side, you have to do the exact same to the other side. So I added 2 to this side, so I'm going to go ahead and have to add 2 to this side as well. Okay, so now we have 18 plus 2, which is going to give us 20. And then we have 43 plus 2, which is going to give us 45. Okay, I did the same thing to both sides. Remember, we're going to start here to find what we can do, what we can add to it or subtract in, in either case, whichever one you want to do, what we can add or subtract to the number to make it a 10. So now that we have our, our number a 10 and then we have this digit here, now we can go ahead and do our subtraction. It makes it easier. So now, again, we want to get in the habit of trying to do these mentally, but that's okay if you can't. So if we were to do this mentally, we were, we were to subtract um, 45 from 20, we would get 25. Because 20 plus 20 would be 40, then add our 5 and get uh, 25. So 43 minus 18 is 25. Okay, so that's one way to do this. I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to put um, way... One, and I'm going to show you a different way to do the same problem. So I'm going to put a little line under here. So we're going to rewrite the same problem. 43 minus 18 equals. Okay, so before, as we said, we knew that we had to add 2 to this number to make it a 10. We're going to do exactly that same thing. So this part is going to be the same. We're going to add 2 to our 18. However, uh, we are not going to add it to our 43 at this point. We are just going to go ahead and add it to the 18 to get 20. So we would end up with 43 minus 20. 43 minus 20 is going to give us 23. Now here is where we do the same thing. We added 2 here. So now we're going to add 2 to our sum. So now we have 43 minus 20, and if we add our 23 plus our 22, we're going to get 25. So both of these ways give you the same exact answer. You can add them both at the same time, or you can add it um, just to the add-in that will give us the easiest 20, or I'm sorry, the easiest 10, and then add that answer, the same number to our, our answer or our sum. Okay, so either way works exactly fine. So we're going to do another one, and I'm going to show you it with both ways. So I'm going to go ahead and erase here. Oops. And I'm going to do the same thing here. But I'm going to use both ways to show you. Okay, so our, our problem here is 52 minus 8. And I'm going to write it here as well because we know we're going to use the same problem, just using a different method to get the answer. So if I'm looking at 52 minus 8, again, we want to get our one-digit number to a 10. It's going to make it easier for us to subtract. So if I try to get this number to a 10, I know that I need to add 2 to this number to give me a 10. Because I added 2 to this side, I need to do the exact same thing to this side. So 52 plus 2 is going to give me 54. I need to make sure I'm bringing that subtraction sign down, though, okay, because this is a subtraction problem. Even though we're adding 2 to each side, this still is a subtraction problem. 
So 54 minus 10 is going to give me 44. So our final answer is going to be 44. Again, showing you how to do that same problem, just with a different um, set of steps. Um, we are going to, again, we know that we need to add 2 here, so we're just going to add it here. 8 plus 2 is going to give us 10. We're going to bring that subtraction sign down. So now we have 52 minus 10, and that's going to give us 42. But remember, we added 2 here to our one-digit number, so now we need to add it to our sum. So 42 plus 2 is going to give us 44. So 52 minus 10 equals 44. So we got the same exact answer, just using the steps in a different order. So I'm giving you two different ways to um, solve this problem or these equations. So hopefully this works for you. Again, I personally believe it's easier just to knock it out all at the same time. That way you don't have to worry about doing it here. I have found, I will let you know that for some students, um, if, we, if they don't do it here, by the time they get to the answer, they believe that this is the answer and they stop here and they will write the answer as 42. So for me, I prefer, what's easiest for me is to add both, do the same to both sides right at the very top. That way I don't have to think about it anymore. All of my work is done. I just need to do finish up my final work here. Um, but again, it's really up to you and your child, which is easier to understand. Um, so just do whatever works best for you. Um, again, anytime you feel like you aren't sure if your answers are correct, all you have to do is add your sum and the number before the equal sign. If you add those two together, 44 plus 10, you'll get 54, then you know your answer is correct. So either way you, either way you try to solve these equations, um, just check your work to make sure your answer is correct and you should be absolutely fine. So I'm going to go ahead and stop there. I'm going to ask you to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you liked what I just did for you. Go ahead and subscribe so you never miss a upload. And also send me a message on Dojo if you have any questions or any other suggestions for anything for me to um, to film for you all. Um, please make sure you're checking our website as well. That'll be linked down below in every video. I don't know if I've said that before in any of the other videos, but our website is also uh, where you can go to directly access these videos as well. Um, and there's more information on our website about our class, our school, and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I hope you have a good day, and I will see you in our next video. Bye!